All right, well, welcome to my clover food plot. And yes, I said clover food plot, and this is a clover food plot. I want to show you guys a technique that I've done this year and really followed it all the way through and the benefits from it. So this is a clover food plot. It's always been a clover food plot since I established this property about three, four years ago. I use uh, Killer Food Plots Resurrection Clover this year and frost seeded in here. And if you notice, there's a lot of winter wheat in here and that's the tip. So what I like to do is come in this fall I like to come in and broadcast pretty heavily winter wheat in this food plot just with a spreader you don't have to work the ground you don't have to do anything what that does is it allows greenery to come in while your clover is going dormant so you're going to get some winter wheat in here it's still going to attract your deer in here to hunt over but at the same time it's doing a lot of different things for this food plot for one it's taking a lot of that excess nitrogen because the clover is producing a lot of nitrogen the winter wheat's going to take that up so you're not going to have a lot of leftover nitrogen for your weeds to feed off of. So it's taking that food source away from your weeds. That way when it comes early season next year and the things start greening up, this is a very heavily pressured food plot. And so um, on top of the browse, on top of them going dormant, there's a lot of exposed soil and that sunlight can really penetrate that soil which is only going to promote weed growth. By coming in here and having this winter wheat, early spring you're having an influx of growth from the winter wheat which is going to almost protect your clover for one it's going to grow up tall it's going to compete with the weeds so you aren't going to have very many weeds in here it's taking the nitrogen away from the weeds and it's also being like a protective barrier for this clover so it can get established but like i said having a very dense population of deer on this property puts a lot of pressure on this clover and the deer start hitting on it right away well with this protective layer it, they really are a lot pickier and coming in here and eating it. They aren't just browsing it down to nothing. They have to work at it, which makes it more challenging, which gives the clover a better advantage of getting established in here. So now it's dried. I followed it all the way through this year. And as you can tell, there are very little weeds inside anywhere in this food plot. You're seeing a couple sprigs of some grasses, maybe a couple sprigs of some lespedeza, a couple little wildflowers here and there. But overall, it's nothing but clover. And winter wheat now what would happen if i didn't plant this winter wheat like i said with that um, clover being so dormant and so short and small you get the warm weather you're going to have a blow up of weeds and i'm going to be competing with the weeds all year long so uh, i'll be in here mowing a lot i'll have to use herbicides but by doing this i've used no herbicides i haven't mowed it yet but what i'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to get on the brush hog. I'm gonna mow it at a very high, just to knock this down, because I want the deer to get in here a little heavier than they are. Uh, they are in here, but you'll be surprised once you knock these tops off and you make it really easy for them to get how much more they're in here. So I'm gonna run the brush hog through really nice and high, and I am brush hogging on a very hot day. And the reason for that being is we have rain coming in tomorrow for the next like five days. I won't go in and mow my clover plots um, if I know there's just going to be a long strand of hot temperatures because uh, I don't want to stress the clover. I like them to be tall and established. You mow them down and get them too stressed and then you're once again going to be competing with the weeds in this food plot. So there you go. Easy little tip and it's cheap. You can buy a 50 pound bag of uh, winter wheat for probably around eight bucks and you can take that and broadcast it very heavily on your clover food plots you're going to get some greenery during the hunting season it's going to help out big time for your summer clover your spring clover and it's going to carry us all the way through now until hunting season so pretty awesome um, this time i actually normally i'll brush hog them a little sooner but i wanted to follow it all the way through this year and let them fully mature just to see and it even did better because normally i'm brush hogging when they're still green and tall sprigs um, but I'm still kind of battling thereafter some weeds, but it's looking really awesome. I'm very happy with it. So if you guys enjoyed the information on this video, make sure to subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram. All the information is down below in the description on YouTube. And until next time, have a better than average day. What that does, it allows... Ooh, about to look.